Hey everyone, in this video I'd like to teach you how to use truth tables to test to see whether a set of statements is consistent or inconsistent. So the very first thing that I want to say is we are not talking about arguments here, right? A set of statements is just supposed to be that, right? As long as there's no intention for any premises to support any conclusions, we're just dealing with a set of statements. So what exactly is it that we're testing for? Well, if a set of statements, right, so here's a set, uh, the sky is blue, the grass is green, and I don't know, the door is open, right? That's a set of statements. If it is possible for all three of those statements to be true at the same time, then that set is consistent, right? Because they're not in conflict with one another, right? However, if it turns out that you have a set of statements where Sometimes these are true and sometimes those are true, but at no point can all of them be true at once, then you're dealing with a set, uh, an inconsistent set of statements. And what that means is that when you put them all together, there is a contradiction in there somewhere, right? Uh, and so that just means you can't hold all of those at the same time, right? So like in real world use, one of the things that's valuable about this is knowing whether you should get rid of one of your beliefs, right? Because sometimes human beings hold inconsistent beliefs, right? They believe three, four, five things, and it turns out that it can't be the case that all of those things are true, right? Because that set of beliefs, which is just a set of statements that someone thinks are, are true, right? Uh, that set of beliefs is inconsistent. And we can test this with the use of truth tables. So you'll remember from my video where I discuss what it is that truth tables do, that every row uh, in a truth table represents a way the world could be, right? Um, so all we're doing is just seeing whether there's any row in which all of the statements uh, is true or are true, right? Any row in which all of the statements turn out to be true. If no such row exists, then you have an inconsistent set. Otherwise, your set is consistent. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. I'll fill out these initial truth values, right? So true, true, false, false, true, false, true, false. If you don't know how to set up a truth table, I have a video on how to do that. Also, if you don't know how to calculate the logical connectives, I've uploaded a set of videos on how it is that every one of these gets calculated on a truth table. So I recommend watching those before you dive into what I'm about to do. So all we're gonna do here is just calculate these statements. The order of the statements doesn't matter, right? Uh, because again, it's not an argument. So let's go ahead. We'll start off with this conjunction. So you'll remember a conjunction is true when both conjuncts are true. Otherwise, the conjunction is false. So true and true is true. True and false is false. False and true is false. And false and false is false. Okay, next we have a disjunction and a negation. We'll start with the negation because we have to. You'll remember that a negation just gives you the opposite truth value of whatever statement it operates on, right? So if that statement is true, the negation will be false. If that statement is false, the negation will be true. And a disjunction calculates to false when both disjuncts are false. Otherwise, it calculates to true. Okay, so we'll start off with not Q, right? So Q is true, false, true, false, which means here we would just have false, true, false, true. And now we can go ahead and calculate the disjunction. So that would be false or true, right? We have P right here, and that's true. We have true or true, that's true. We have false or false, that's false. And we have true or false, that's true. In order to not get confused, sometimes I like to just circle the main connectives truth values. In this case, it's not important because they're the only truth values in that column, but here, right, once I'm finally checking to see whether these are consistent or inconsistent, uh, it's valuable to have this stand out. And then we just have not P. Right, and that's just the negation of P. Well, P is true, true, false, false. So here we will have false, false, true, true. Okay, those are all of the truth values. Now remember, these statements here are not part of our evaluation, right? These are just so we can set up the truth values so that we know how to calculate the rest of these. So you can ignore these. We're just concerned with these three statements. Let's go ahead and see whether they're consistent. Remember, if they're consistent, there will be a row where all of the statements are true, all of the compound statements, right? Uh, so for instance, this here doesn't matter. We're just looking at the main connective. However, if they're inconsistent, then no such row will exist. In the first row, we have true, true, false. So that's not gonna show us that it's consistent. In the second, we have false, true, false, okay? False, false, true, okay? And false, true, true. Okay, so there isn't a single row 
in which all of the statements are true, therefore, this set of statements is inconsistent. Right? And remember, it's inconsistent because it's not possible for all of the statements to be true at the same time. That's what all of our rows show us. All right, so let's move on to this more complicated set of statements here. Right now, we're dealing with three atomic statements, which means that we'll be writing out eight rows of truth values. I'll just quickly write those down. So we have true, 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 false, 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 true, true, false, false, true, true, false, false, true, false, true, false, true, false, true, false. And again, if you're confused about why it is that I wrote this, all of these truth values in that order, I have a video on how to set up truth tables that I recommend that you watch first. All right, let's go ahead and calculate what these are all going to be. We'll start off with our disjunction. It says A or B, so we'll look at these two columns. True or true is true. True or true is true. True or false is true. True or false is true. False or true is true. False or true is true. False or false is false. And false or false is false. Okay, that's all of these truth values. Let's move on to not C, right? So not C is just going to be the opposite of C. Right? C is true, false, true, false, so on and so forth. So I'll just write the opposite here. False, true, false, true, false, true, false, true. Finally, we have, well, not finally, we have two more statements, right? Um, but the last compound statement that we have is uh, if A, then C. A conditional is false if the antecedent is true and the consequent is false. Otherwise, the conditional is true. So let's go ahead and see these truth values. We have true implies true. That's true. True implies false, that's false. True implies true, that's true. True implies false, that's false. And the rest of these start with false, right? So that means that the rest of these are going to be true because again, the conditional is false only when, if and only if, uh, the antecedent is true and the consequent is false. Otherwise it comes out to true. Well, all of these start off with false, therefore all of these will be true. Right? And that's just a nice shortcut to have in mind when you're doing this kind of thing. It makes it easier to calculate everything. Finally, we just have B, right? Uh, there's nothing else going on there, so we can just rewrite all of these truth values here. So that's true, true, false, false, true, true, false, and false, right? And that's just me copying these truth values onto here. Now let's go ahead and see whether this set of statements is consistent or not. Again, we ignore these initial truth values because we just wrote those down to calculate everything else. And now we're just looking for a row where all of these turn out to be true. True, false, that can't be our row. True, true, false, that can't be our row. True, false, that can't be our row. True, true, false, that can't be our row. True, false, true, that can't be our row either. True, 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 false. That can't be, oh, sorry, ah, see, this is why you want to be really careful with how you write these things, right? We found a row where they all turn out to be true, right? So it's at least possible for this set of statements to all be true at the same time. That means that this is a consistent set of statements, right? And again, uh, as I mentioned in a different video, it's really, really a good idea to write this stuff down either on lined paper or grid paper because you can get sloppy with the truth values on a whiteboard like I'm doing here. Uh, so you just want to be cautious with that kind of stuff, right? Make sure you don't make small mistakes like that. Okay, so again, all it takes for a uh, set of statements to be consistent is that there's at least one row, right, where they're all true. There could be more than one, right? And if no such row exists, then you're dealing with an inconsistent set of statements. And that's really all there is to it. If you enjoy this video and you want to watch more videos about logic and philosophy, uh, then you should stick around. I'll see you next time.